Hey guys, I'm back here with on the video and I know some of you may be saying, hey, wait, 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 this is Drone Dojo. Where's Caleb? I got good news for you. The Drone Dojo is happy to welcome Pankaj to being a contributor on our YouTube channel. Pankaj is a very talented engineer, loves drones, really good at what he does. He's going to be dropping videos on our Drone Dojo YouTube channel every couple months. So really excited to see what he makes and I'll follow along with the videos too. That'll be fun. But yeah, in this video, we're going to be covering camera calibration on your drone, which is very important for computer vision based flying. So with that, Pankaj, you ready to take over? All right, I'll hit play. Hey guys, I'm back here with on the video and this video is all about computer vision. And when it comes to computer vision, it's all about camera. So we need to get started with camera calibration. And for this, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi camera. And then we'll get started with OpenCV libraries and see how to use these OpenCV libraries in our Python scripts and develop some basic applications. Like we can write some Python scripts for object detection, tracking, or uh, finding uh, the uh, pose estimation of that particular object in the 3D space and deploy these applications on our actual vehicle. So let's get started. The main objective of the video is to carry out calibration process for a Raspberry Pi camera. We are working with OpenCV libraries, taking input from the cameras and fetching it to the scripts. And the application that we are going to work with mainly requires pose estimation of the object in 3D space. Basically, pose estimation refers to getting position and orientation of that particular object or a marker in 3D space. So the camera setup has to be precise with minimal offset errors or generally called as distortion errors. Our primary goal here is to identify the distortions by the camera, mainly tangential and radial distortions. Then we'll see what are intrinsic and extrinsic properties of a camera. And finally, we'll carry out the camera calibration process. And you'll find most of this information on the official uh, website of OpenCV. Or if you want to get into more details regarding camera matrix, the equations for intrinsic and extrinsic parameters, then just check the link in the description. So let's start with distortion caused by cameras. Distortion is basically the deformation of a straight line of an image which makes it to appear curved unnaturally. Uh, tangential and radial distortions are the major kind of distortion. In tangential distortion, the image lens is not aligned parallel to the image plane, so which makes the image to appear nearer than expected. And in radial distortion, straight line appears to be curved and increases as moved away from the center of the image. So let's see the actual camera calibration process. To get started, we need to clone this repository into the Raspberry Pi. So I'll just copy this link over here. And this folder contains calibrate.py and pattern.png files. So that is a Python script for the calibration process. And we have to execute this and then start the calibration process. And this pattern is the pattern of the chessboard marker. And we are using this chessboard marker for the calibration process. And we have to print it on A4 size paper. And the resolution or the pixel resolution is 640 into 480. So let's get uh, into the Raspberry Pi. So just for now, I'm going to uh, access the Raspberry Pi over SSH using this terminal. So I'll hit SSH Pi at the rate uh, IP address of the Raspberry Pi. And I'll hit the password. Okay, so we are now uh, into the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'll just git clone that uh, repository here. I'll just paste the link that we already we have copied and hit enter. Okay, so we have this uh, folder named uh, camera calibration. Uh, we'll get into that. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, calibrate.py and pattern. Uh, PNG so we need to print this on the A4 size paper and paste it on the uh, some uh, hard surface and we'll just take a look at this uh, calibrate.py script I'm uh, using a nano editor here okay so uh, this is the uh, calibration script that we are going to 
execute and start the calibration process so basically what this uh, script does is that it takes the uh, 20 good images of the chessboard marker and stored them uh, in a folder named calibration files and also create a camera matrix so camera matrix is an important uh, thing whenever it comes to camera vision and uh, to execute this script we need to have OpenCV and NumPy packages so if you have watched my previous videos then you will have all these packages installed so if you don't have then you can just install and continue so uh, you can just uh, run this uh, script to install the packages uh, that is a sudo pip install python opencv and python numpy now I'm, I'm getting a little big time on you guys right now I got a new sponsor got a new sponsor so this video is brought to you by the drone dojo so recently Oklahoma storms came through and wrecked my house screwed up my roof took out drone dojo studios water fell from the ceiling and crashed everything my drone dojo studios are in shambles well if you want to follow along with this video a great place to start is our PyHawk drone kits that'll give you a raspberry pi a pixhawk a video build manual so you know how to put it together access to me for any questions now the drone dojo also has blue belt membership and what is that well you get access to all of our courses we got over nine courses at the drone dojo all of our projects we got over I think it's six or seven projects you can follow along become a blue belt member get a PyHawk drone kit help me rebuild drone dojo studios let's get into the video so here here I have uh, printed this uh, marker on this A4 size paper and paste it on this flat surface uh, of this cutting mat and the next thing that we have to do is uh, measure the uh, width of this uh, block and here uh, in this case it's uh, 26 mm so we have to note this down and give this uh, measurement that is 26 mm as an argument while executing the calibrate.py file uh, during the calibration process so let's do that now uh, we'll uh, use VNC viewer in order to get the camera free on the screen because we need the GUI access of the Raspberry Pi so I'll hit VNC and we'll connect it to the Raspberry Pi over the Raspberry Pi dot local network and here we are into the Raspberry Pi and I'll open the terminal and we'll check uh, the folder that is the camera calibration we'll get into that okay so now we are into it and we have to execute this calibrate.py strip i have made this file executable using the chmod 777.file name command so you can do that so to execute this file what i'll do is write python space file name that is calibrate.py and we need to give here some arguments so we have already measured the block size of that uh, chessboard marker so that is a 26 mm so we need to feed that uh, as an argument here and also the pixel size we have to be very uh, particular uh, regarding the uh, pixel resolution so that is hyphen hyphen mm uh, 26 space hyphen hyphen width space uh, that is 640 space hyphen hyphen height and that is 480 and as soon as I hit enter uh, the camera will start and it will start taking uh, the good pictures at around 20 pictures and then uh, complete the calibration process so let's start it okay so uh, here uh, right now there's no uh, chessboard marker in the frame so as soon as uh, it starts detecting okay so the main thing is here try to show the edges first all the edges so you can just get back and all the pos possible uh, positions what you can say so it will uh, just check the uh, good images and once it is done it will uh, start calibrating and here we can see uh, the calibration process has been completed and 
uh, there's a camera matrix and the distortion coefficient so uh, now we are going to check the calibration process whether how accurate uh, our calibration has been carried out for that i'll execute a python script and that python script will uh, get the pose estimation of this particular urco marker uh, that is the xyz axis measurement with uh, respect to this axis of this camera and after executing the executing the script what we'll do is we'll just uh, center uh, the uh, camera axis and this urco marker axis and then we'll make a positive shift in x axis and measure that manually and we'll also check the measurements uh, using the script so let's get started so here i'll execute that script that is python test.py and we'll check uh, about the scripts in detail after this process i'll hit enter and okay so the script has started and here uh, we are able to see the xyz axis measurements and also we are uh, getting this camera feed so this uh, green uh, axis is x axis uh, and what we'll do is i'll just center that so right now it is uh, minus 5.81 i'll try to make it to zero we'll just try to get the approximation not the perfect uh, value so that uh, we'll get some idea about the accuracy okay so uh, it is uh, near about zero so next thing that i'll do here is i'll uh, use this uh, scale and uh, make a positive shift of like uh, six centimeters so uh, i'll just pull this towards me so that will uh, shift this okay so here it is so there will be a, a little bit of variance that you can consider as a human errors so here we had a positive shift uh, of in the x axis and we have measured it manually and that is 6 centimeters and also here we can see that marker position uh, which has x is equal to 6 centimeters so uh, this gives us a pretty good idea about uh, how our calibration process has been carried out so if you are unhappy with the results then you can just recalibrate your camera so now we'll uh, just take a look at the python script that is the testpy.script so for that i'll just uh, sudo nano test.py and here we have the script so we have imported all the uh, uh, requirements that is the cv2 numpy imutils and then the most important thing here we have is that the width and the height so uh, this should be same or throughout the process that is 640 cross uh, 480 like we have the uh, pixel resolution of the chessboard marker uh, same as the 640 cross 480 and then we have this cap that is a webcam uh, a video stream this is the source of the video stream that uh, we have to set it and then uh, here we have the uh, urco marker index id that is uh, whatever urco marker we have to detect it has a particular index id so just to be specific uh, we have to detect only that urco marker we have to mention uh, that index id over here and then the marker size so uh, we have to measure the urco marker from uh, the overall uh, size of the urco marker from left to right and in my case it was uh, 20 centimeters and the next thing uh, we have is uh, the calibration path so whatever files that we have generated from the uh, calibration process of the camera uh, that is the camera matrix and the camera distortions so we have to uh, add this path uh, to call those uh, matrix and then uh, once the camera feed is being fetched uh, it gets converted into the grayscale and after that uh, the co marker detection uh, techniques comes into play and here we have rvec and tvec so uh, these are the imp important transforms whenever it comes to pose estimation so what happens is like uh, they provide the position of that particular uh, 3d object uh, in the real time world and uh, that's all about this video so you can just uh, get the link to this uh, code in the description and uh, this is a simple process uh, to get your camera ready 
and the next videos will be all about like ROS that is robot operating system and will be starting from basics and parallelly developing uh, aerial and ground vehicles uh, for better understanding of the concepts.